All right, we're gonna start working on the binding. And what we're gonna do for that is look at our pattern. We're going to get our binding fabric and we're gonna get our super fancy brand new iron and we're gonna get working on it. So, pattern, pattern, there's the pattern. So I've got my pattern, I've already reviewed it. We're gonna do two and a half inch strips but we have to get our binding ready. So she's labeled it binding. We can take that off finally. Don't need it anymore. And this is our beautiful binding fabric. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm actually on my long arm quilting machine. This is the bar. Um, and I got this uh, wool felt to be able to iron on. So the other thing we're gonna do, Let's grab this brand new. Pretty excited. Who would have thought an unboxing during the video? This in the drawer. Now let's get to sewing. strips of fabric here and to do the binding we actually want to take it and I always have to remember but there's a good way to test it so I think it's this way if I remember correctly so if we were to lay it here and sew a diagonal line this way our fabric would then come up like this which is the way that we want to do it and then I'm actually going to use this one and we're gonna take it and flip it over. So here's the bottom edge. I'm flipping it over so that it is right side. We're taking another one. And we're gonna do this again. And this way I can chain sew it without having to worry about stopping and starting. So we're going to take our strips and we're going to cut them before. So we'll take it, any roller, actually this one's upside down. There we go. Any roller, it's got a quarter inch seam. That's why I'm using this for this one. And we're just gonna cut off those strips. And then you've got this, which is nice. So we'll just go along here, find all of these seams. Now I've got these seams in here from where it was previously ironed, so I'm going to iron those out as we go. Here, I'm going to iron my seams open. So first I'm going to finger press those open, and I'm going to come through here and just set them. I 
I'm not using any more spray because I don't want my fabric to shrink anymore. So every time you put water or anything on your fabric, it is going to cause it to shrink a little bit. So some people would stop right here and they would do a seam where they actually fold it in like this, where they take the pieces and fold each edge in, and then whenever they sew it on, it'll be like this. Here, there you go. So again, fold each edge in and then fold it. That looks really nice, but it's a bit complicated. The other option is to fold it in half like this, and then you'll sew this piece on and then folding it. It looks pretty similar in my opinion, and it's a heck of a lot less work, which is kind of nice. So that's what I'm going to do this time around. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna do the binding. And so a lot of people, because they hand bind their quilts, will actually machine sew it to the top of the quilt and then flip it around. I do not like to hand sew my bindings. So I actually like to stitch it to the back of the quilt and flip it around. And the reason for this is that when I'm stitching on the front of the quilt, I like to be able to see my stitching is nice and easy and even and straight and all those things. Whereas if you're stitching from the back to the front, it's not always as easy to notice that. So I am gonna come down because I don't like to end on a corner piece. And I'm gonna come down a little bit more on this quilt. I've just chosen a side. Let me get it all situated here and we're gonna start. I'm also gonna come away a little bit as well just because I will have to end with this piece. And so I don't wanna be ending on a weird spot. And I'm actually ending on the, so if you can see the side of the quilt here, so this is a Christmas tree. So this is probably, this should be the right upper side. So I've got my binding strip here with it folded in half, the raw edges are going to the raw edges of the quilt. And so we're gonna take this little booger here and line it up. So now we've got to the end of our binding and this is the most complicated part. So we've sewn on this edge all the way down and we've got this piece and then we've got this piece over here and sewn all the way down and we've got this piece, okay? And we need to get them together. So what you're actually gonna do is come over here, open this piece up as if we were sewing our binding strips together. Okay, so if you've, if you've done your binding strips together, you can do this. So we're gonna open this piece up, all right? Oh, and you do wanna cut. So you wanna have about a two and a half inch overlap. I think I have a bit more. We'll say that's one, 
to, oh no, two and a half inch. So you wanna have an overlap. You wanna do the same overlap as what your binding strips are. So if you have a three and a half, you wanna have that, five and a half, so on and so forth. But most people have about a two and a half inch binding strip. I think that's pretty common. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna open it up, okay? Um, so this is, see how it's attached, right? So it's sewn here and I'm just opening flat up. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're going to open it up. But we're not gonna do it this way because then it won't lay right. We need to go and lay it uh, this way. And it's always a little bit hard because you gotta stretch it some. And that way, when we sew this way, and it's easier to do two-handed, and we cross this way, right? So we're gonna sew diagonal just like we did and we cut those pieces, they're going to lay like this. So they'll lay together, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see what I mean once I've got it all laid out, okay? So we've got our quilt. We're gonna pull our piece out this way. We're gonna pull this piece out this way so that you have it with the edge that is flat so this piece right here so that when you pull it out from your quilt you're just pulling it out like this so this is your fold from it going in and there's the edge of your quilt you're gonna pull it like so flat out and flat here okay and then we're gonna take it we're gonna turn everything a smidge sideways because that's the easiest way to sew sideways. If you want to pin it, pin it. Otherwise, you're just going to try and hold everything as flat as possible. Come over here. Just like that. together and now you can see that once I fold this over it's laying nice and flat we have our raw edges so we're gonna have to go through and cut this off real quick now you can take it to your cutting table and you can put your rotary mat on it and and take your rotary cutter and cut it or if you want a really nice straight beautiful line or you can do like I'm gonna do and take it and flatten it out and take your scissors and cut a quarter of an inch away. Now, when you do that, make sure that you've got both your pieces here, okay? And that you're cutting, and because you, you don't want to cut into this fold. You don't want to cut into that, okay? So once we pull it flat again, you can see how it sits really nice and even. So I'm just gonna finger press that down. And that in itself, because it's tight there, it should sit nicely. So then we're gonna move this to where we need it to be. Come back up here. stitches and then we've got it so this is attached all the way down and we're ready to take this fold it over like this and then we will fold it again and so this is the front of my quilt again so we will fold it all the way over and stitch here all right so I'm going to change out my top thread because I think that the red top thread is gonna sit a lot better. And I'm also gonna change out my bobbin thread and wind a bobbin because I don't have 
the bottom line the same. So the bottom line of this is not the same as on the quilt and I want that to be the same. So I'm gonna change out some thread here and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so now we're going to fold over our binding like so from the back. So we'll have the back part where it's sewn, um, as you can see here. And then what we'll do is take it, fold it over. I'm actually going to start at a corner. I know whenever I am solely, solely, when I'm sewing the backing on um, from the back, I get, like to start not at a corner, but um, in this instance, I like to start at a corner. And I've got my thread changed to a red top thread and then the same backing or bottom line thread that I used on the entire quilt back. And we do have to lift that up a bit more just to get it set right. And then once happy with it, set it down and some people will go through and pin all of this down and um, for me, I tend to like to just gradually place it as I go because I tend to pull the pins out and then adjust anyway, so it isn't faster for me to do that. So, and it takes a long time to put the pins in, honestly, so that's why I don't do it. So we'll take our first couple of steps, stitches here, and then do have that one piece of thread we're going to move it to the back there. Perfect. And there can be quite a bit of fuffing with this. Because you do want it to set down the right way. And I apologize if I hit the camera here, but trying not to. already sound. I'm going to set those seams. We've done it. And so we just need to cut a few through. 